Hi everyone, Michael Lamonico. We're gonna do something today that I think is great family food and it's one of my favorite dishes. And I think this is actually something you can get the, the kids to help with. You know, there's enough steps here that children can get involved. Maybe you'll do the cooking, but you can get them involved. It's a, it's a good thing. We're gonna make chicken parmesan. Who doesn't love chicken parmesan? Chicken parmesan. Uh, well, you know, this is really just such a great dish. I just have chicken cutlets, and I'm going to do the three-step breading process, flour, egg, and breadcrumbs. Just plain flour, the egg, I put a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of milk in there, and the breadcrumb is breadcrumbs with parsley, Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of garlic, just a, a little bit. So let's bread some chicken cutlets. So, you know, the, the whole trick about any of the three-step breading is to try to keep your hands dry while you're doing it. So let's get them going like this. First, we'll get one flour, right? The flour holds on the egg, and the egg holds on the breadcrumb. It's that simple. So you know what we actually have here? We're actually starting chicken nuggets, right? Or chicken fingers, same thing except after you bread them, we're gonna turn them into chicken parmesan. But if you just stopped at the breadcrumb and cooked it then, even if you don't wanna fry it, but you wanna bake it, you could make chicken fingers. So let's get this into the breadcrumb. So we're gonna get, and I'm just using a fork so I can try to stay a little dry while I do this. Okay, can't really do that. So really what we do is we use one hand and into the breadcrumbs and just try to pack the breadcrumbs on. You know, make sure that they adhere. And that's it, just one, one layer of breadcrumbs is more than enough into the egg. And I'll come back and I'll finish this and then I'll come back and show you how we cook it all. So we have our chicken and it's all breaded. It's ready, to, it's ready for the pan. Now, I have olive oil in here. I'm gonna cook this in olive oil because I love that. You could cook it in any oil you want. You want to use canola oil, vegetable oil, fine. But if you wanted to bake them from this state raw, you could bake them before you finish the Parmesan, but I'm going to saute them in olive oil. There we go. Great. We'll do the first two. And in a moment, I'm going to flip them and you'll see how beautiful they are. Oh, these are sounding awfully good. So chicken cutlets, breaded. You can serve this as chicken cutlets, whatever you want to do, but we're going to make chicken Parmesan. So let's let that cook a moment more. Great. These are looking really good. Let's turn them over now. Look, beautiful. That's a great color. Really nice. Okay. Now the chicken is cooking, of course, in the pan, but also it's going to continue to cook when you put the cheese and, and uh, the mozzarella and the tomato sauce on and you bake it. So I'm not worried about the internal temperature on this. I'm just trying to get a good brown crust on here. I mean, this is, these are chicken cutlets. They're great. Okay. These are looking good. See? Now I'm going to take them out. And I'm going to land them right here. This is the pan I'm going to bake them on in the oven. I'll put them in the oven for a few minutes with the tomato sauce and cheese. And so let me just cook my last chicken cutlet. We'll come back and we'll assemble our chicken parmesan. Okay, so now we go for the best part of chicken parmesan. We finish it. And I like a little... Parmesan cheese. Yes, there's Parmesan cheese in the breading, but I like a little extra because it is Parmigiano. And then a little tomato sauce. Remember the tomato sauce we made? Tomato sauce, simple tomato sauce. Over the top. And mozzarella. Very, you know, 
Use the mozzarella however you like, if you like a little, if you like a lot. This is comfort food at its best, I think. We call out for this, right? We, we order this up from our pizzeria or Italian restaurant, but it's so easy to make at home. Now this goes into a 350 degree oven until the cheese is nice and melty. So let's do that. Okay, now we're gonna go in. Let's go in and see how our chicken Parmesan turned out. Great, great, great. Nice and hot, bubbly. That looks delicious. So, Chicken Parmesan is as easy as pie, or as easy as chicken Parmesan. A little more tomato sauce, maybe. Maybe a basil leaf. Maybe the kids won't like that, but you can have a basil leaf on there. A little pasta, you're good to go. Chicken Parmesan, Italian style. <laughs>